known to everyone, our wholly humble, humdrum one. Warm, familiar, reassuring, and truth to tell, just a little boring. But two worlds now are in condition through the magic we call Fable Vision. Word of warning to you, the brave volunteer, about how things tend to go down around here. You see, you can't complain and shouldn't grumble should your self-esteem take a little tumble. For here too, life can turn the tables in the world of funky fables. <laughs> Who's made it through? Today's episode, The King's New Clothes. Tonight is the night to put on your bling when the Emperor of Axminster visits the King. How he loves to show off to the King's irritation, swanning about in his latest creation. Now then, now then, my royal costume here, I need some new clothes that will wipe the grin off that stupid Emperor's stupid mug. Got it? All in hand, sire. I'm off to the village right now to get you an outfit that will knock the Emperor's socks off. Well, look sharp, then. He'll be here in three hours. Hurry up. Come on. Snip, snip. Chop, chop. When the Emperor of Axminster pays a visit, everyone will be out in their finery. <laughs> ah, the perfect occasion <laughs> to relieve the rich and give back to, um, er... Uh, us. That's right. <laughs> Even Aladdin is quite excited to meet the Emperor he's been invited. On his new magic carpet he swoops and swirls, showing off to all the girls. Oh, this mat's going to be a real babe magnet. Now, what did the genie say were its special features? Okay, number one, to burst into flame without burning up. Shout, bounty. Oh, oh, okay. yow, yow! And number two, with a cry of stretchy. <laughs> yow! The carpet will stretch to any size and shape you desire. And last, but not least, when you say glassy, the carpet will turn invisible. So, there's your magic carpet, and now you know how to use it. Make sure you keep an eye on it, and whatever you do, don't lose it. I've got the threads, I've got a ride for the night, now all I need is a date. Hey, ladies. Want to accompany me to the Emperor's reception this evening? There's no room for my getting on that jalopy. Says who? Stretchy! Wow! Hot dog! Awesome! Let's paint the town. Red. This should ensure that the Emperor's visit goes with a bang. <laughs> Arr, and in the chaos that follows, we can make off with the Emperor's jewels. Oi! Have you any idea what my sisters will do to me if you... if you... Bernie! Soon we'll be stinking rich. Arr, this plan of ours is absolutely foolproof. <laughs> uh, what is that hissing sound? Oh, that's just the fuses on the dynamite. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, did you just say... Dynamite? You 
not bringing that mucky thing in here. But... but the genie said I must always keep my eye on it. Yeah. How are you going to sweep Cinderella off her feet now, eh, lover boy? <laughs> yes, you're nothing without your magic carpet. <laughs> Hello, um, my carpet needs a service wash. Do you think you can fix it up by tonight? No sweat. Just you leave it with me, my son. And make sure you keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Righto, I'll pick it up later. Thanks, Mar. I require fabric from which I will cut garments for the king himself. Oh, sorry. Worry not. I found exactly what I need. Listen up, Carpethead. It ain't gonna happen, okay? Those bad guys were right. I'm nothing without my magic carpet. This vintage fabric will make the king a splendid ceremonial outfit. And it's so stretchy. Oh, the genie was right. I should never have let the carpet out of my sight. I didn't mean to sell it. It was that Anthony Pants, the king's costumier. He came in here and it was all. And I was like, oh, I say. And he was like, and. Where is my carpet? And what makes you think I have it? It's right there, look. Excuse me, I paid for that fair and square. Oh, my magic carpet! Magic carpet? You mean to say that fabric was... enchanted? But I've used the pieces to make all sorts of clothing. Like those breeches you're wearing right now? These? No, I bought them like this. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Bernie. Oh! Ouch! Oh! Ah! Oh! 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 Ha ha! Nice hot pants. Very funny. Now, stitch that, and then you can help me find the rest of my carpet. Ah, stick with me and I'll meet you as rich as a queen. Aha! Uh -huh. I recognise that belt. Ahoy there, Captain. I believe you have something that belongs to me. That's right, I do. Stretchy. <laughs> the Emperor is bound to be laden with jewels. So when the King makes his entrance, you storm the stage and cause a distraction, and I'll grab the booty. Here comes the King now. I can't wait to see the Emperor's face when he gets an eyeful of my outfit. Uh-oh. Stretchy! Here, there's a reward out for these two. Your neck, sunshine. <laughs> Only one more piece missing. Look out! Here comes the Emperor! Oh, how dare he! The King's never going to top an outfit like that. He's done it again. The king will be furious. Maybe not. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Glassy. What? 
now. But, oh, I say, absolutely frightful. How dare he? What a bounder. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's quite good. The Emperor's gone off in a strop. Unstuck, red-faced, he's blown his top. And Anton is thrilled with his latest creation. His trousers came up to the king's expectation. Ah, uh, look at me! No! Don't look at me! Oh, no, don't, don't, shut your eyes, I've got my shut. Ooh, ooh. 